Welcome back to Chop Time Pod. It's your host, Red. I got a video today from Chick on a Budget. Inflation. Everyone's feeling it. Not just women, not just men. Everyone. Please like subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. Let's get that child. It's Chop Time. I'm on here because I've had enough. And I don't think I'm the only person. I cannot be the only person. Cost of living is no longer about... I believe most of these videos are from the UK, but... The UK and the US are so similar and inflation rates and everything are, are almost spot on with each other. The cost of living, it's officially become the cost of survival. For 47 rand for lemon creams. I mean, living and survival are pretty similar to each other. You just. How do they think we're going to keep surviving like this? Are you kidding me? This is for the parents of older kids, like eight-year-olds plus, and I mean this in the sincerest way. Are you guys okay? Yes, this is another supermarket rant. I'm fed up with how much it costs to eat. It's just ridiculous how much money you got to spend on food. I don't even want to be hungry no more. What in the actual inflation is this? One. See, the thing is, for the last few years for me, I've, I've been eating out. I've ate out most of my meals. And I usually go to like the small little Asian restaurants, like little Chinese spots, little Thai spots. It's like $9 for a full meal. This comes with rice, fried rice, a little entree, a little bit of soup. That fills me up. So I don't really deal with the grocery short, the market buying things like that. I think $10 for a meal, $9 for a meal, and I only eat about once a day. It's, it's perfectly fine for me. Lemon for $3.50. I have had it <laughs> with grocery prices. I, I got a rant this morning. I this is for the parents of older kids. Like I actually kind of wonder how do these restaurants only charge us so little and still make a profit? I'm actually confused by that too. Like eight year olds plus, and I mean this in the sincerest way. Are you guys okay? Yes, this is another supermarket rant because the supermarket has become my most despised place on earth. It surpasses play centers and the gyno, and that is absolutely saying something. I just dropped into Coles to grab a few things and I'm trying this new thing where I'm spending intentionally and I'm thinking about where every single one of my dollar is going. And for me, I prefer to support the local grocer. I just think it's weird that people didn't think about this before. Now we're in such a, it's funny how people don't seem to care about managing money and things like that until it is forced upon them. Then to support the big food chains. Mexican tonight so think like black beans and diced tomatoes and corn out of a tin like things that are meant to not cost a lot of money and I walked out of there spending $82 and I came out of there with one meal I have little babies I have a three-year-old and a one-year-old and between the four of us those two my three-year-old doesn't eat she eats oxygen so like to combine they're probably the equivalent of one child and two adults like how are you feeding these pre-teens and teenagers who are like garbage disposals who just eat everything i know that's this is true when i was growing up and i was doing sports in high school i ate like a monster my parents just looked at me and just like something's wrong with this kid i'd eat six seven bowls of rice with meat everything almost every sitting when i was burning that much kind of energy that's what i did when i was a kid like at this point, i'm sitting in my car that's how furious i am and at this point i just feel like they're just taking the piss 227 for side kicks. oh Ooh. my god i'm fed up with how much it costs to eat like it's to the point where it's like, how is we supposed to be the moms like the TikTok girlies where we taking our kids to the aquarium and it's $65 per kid to get in the aquarium when we could barely feed them? I spent $425 on groceries a week and a half ago and I'm running out of stuff already. I look in the freezer, ain't nothing left but a half a pack of ground turkey and a whole chicken. That is crazy. $400, $400 in a week, week and a half. My parents used to go to grocery shopping. This is all when I was a kid, guys. So in the 90s or the early 2000s. Um, yeah, we would spend 100, 120 bucks. And that was groceries for a week, almost two weeks worth. 400 bucks is not even worth lasting a, a week, a week and a half. That sucks. Where is the rest of the food at? <laughs> I just grocery shopped. The juice gone, eggs dwindling. Like... 
It's too much. Then you can't even eat out either. Why is Wingstop $18.99 for a 10 piece? Since when? It used to be $10. $10 for a 10 piece with the fries back in the day. Yep, it used to be under a dollar a wing. I do remember this. Now everything's like $2, $3 a wing, which is crazy. What is going on? Chipotle, $18. What was $18? What, what, what was $18? See, she names all these places and they're still above mine. I live in California and I still get good Asian cooked meals for 10 bucks. 12 bucks maybe some under 10 bucks so i think it's doable but it is mostly asian meals i'm only eating asian most of the time because you know i'm asian subway panera and don't and don't even get me started on trying to eat healthy because now i gotta buy my fruits and vegetables weekly if every four days not even weekly it's just ridiculous how much money you got to spend on food. I don't even want to be hungry no more. For real. I cannot believe supermarkets are still hiking their prices up as much as they are at the moment. I've just done my weekly food shop and I've noticed price increases since I did my last one, which is about a week and a half ago. For example, this long grain rice was 50p when I bought it last. It's now up to 65 pence per pack. This pricing here for this rice, I bought four packs, was from the 22nd of March. And now on the 3rd of April, it is now 65p. So what I bought here would now cost me £2.60. But the thing is, this isn't just the one product that's gone up in price. Everything has gone up with it. And like these 10, 15, 20p increases are huge make huge 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 impacts on your total food shop bill and it's just insane how prices are still just going absolutely through the roof like how are people supposed to afford this for me personally there are some things that i have to buy branded my son is autistic he will not eat certain things and there is no point in anyone telling me oh just get him to try the cheaper option if he doesn't have what he knows he will not eat and i'm not gonna let him starve and then my be a better fucking parent Really? This is the, I have a lot of problems with this. Even my cousins have issues with this. They'll raise my little cousins and they'll only eat McDonald's. They'll only eat fries. They won't eat any Cambodian food. They won't eat rice. They won't eat regular meat. They just eat fucking fries. This is all the parents' fault. I blame my cousins to the T for this. I, I tell them all the fucking time. Like, this is why your fucking, your kids are overweight. You, they only want fries. Because you fed them fries. You should have been feeding them normal fucking food and forcing them to eat it so they know better. And they, they, they don't fucking become so privileged and entitled that I have to have this or else you know, I, I'm not going to eat. No, you're a fucking kid. You eat the fucking food that I put for you or you fucking starve. That's it. I don't know. I'm harsh about it, but that's how I was raised. My youngest son is dairy free, so I have to buy dairy free alternatives on top of what I already have to buy already. So these things are just adding up so crazy in price. It genuinely frightens me that I have a family of four to feed and these prices just keep going sky high. Like, at what point is it genuinely going to stop? Because I don't think it'll be long until this white packet of rice costs a pound. This loaf of bread I used to be able to get for 45p. It is now 85. It's almost doubled in price and it's just... Honestly, when is it going to stop? Because people cannot, cannot afford to keep going on like this. It's just... Anyone else in Canada finding it hard to work a full-time job, but knowing that that is not enough money to survive at all anymore, and you basically have to do a side hustle or there's literally no chance to get ahead, but because of your full-time job, you are so exhausted, you don't have energy to do a side hustle, but you know if you don't, you will never be able to buy a home, have a family, or even get a freaking cat. Welcome to being an adult. I think men have dealt with this most of history we just have to deal with it and do better and get the things that we need to get and make the money that we need to make we're not allowed to complain we're not allowed to bitch why because then we're seen as weak and who wants to hear a grown man bitch about fucking grocery prices but women it's tough you could actually live off a full-time job you just live very minimal i actually don't live off of that much income in a sense i only spend maybe a thousand dollars on monthly bills maybe a little bit more 
and I spend money on food. I don't buy anything. I will, I spend money on gas and stuff, but like just live very minimal. I only eat once a day and I still work out. Sometimes I'll eat twice a day. That's just how I eat though. I mean, it might be tough for other people to do that, but you just find ways to, you know, cut some costs and live a more mediocre life. I think it's the, it's the mediocre life that people are upset about and can't seem to comprehend in their mind that they can they can live with that kind of money they just can't spend as much and like be a little bit better with your money or is it just me because this isn't fun okay you're kind of like every year going down while inflation's going up just being like that i agree me. i have had it with grocery prices I, I'm sorry. I, I got a rant this morning. I literally got a rant this morning. I can't do no coffee and chats because I ain't got no coffee. I, I, I am so tired of it not being no food. I literally just spent $338 on groceries 10 days ago, y'all. 10 days ago. Similar I'm to the coming other here to make breakfast. Ain't no biscuits. Ain't no bread. Ain't no sausage. Ain't no bacon. Ain't no water. Ain't no one applesauce is left. Like my asparagus is bad I, like what what is really going on okay because <laughs> you can't even you can't even justify i ain't got no mcdonald's money it's food at home it ain't even food at home we got nuggets no fries peanut butter no jelly ham no burger i mean seriously i can't but the gas prices the grocery prices, then y'all like, oh, you're such a good mom. Have two more kids. You gonna feed them? What in the actual inflation is this? One lemon for three dollars fifty and a red onion. That is pretty ridiculous. Uh, a whole like, thank God I have a lemon tree in the back of the yard. I don't even use it, but three dollars a lemon is ridiculous. Onion for two dollars fifty. I know I should be voting with my dollar and not buying these, but what are we meant to do? I've been ordering all my groceries online from Target through Shift since 2021, which means I... See? You're a fucking idiot already. You do it through Shift. Why don't you just get your lazy ass to the fucking Target and shop yourself and save some money? This is the problem I have with people. You use Ship? Everything is marked up on Ship. And they charge you extra fees to get delivered or whatever it is. Why not get your lazy ass out and go do it? Yes, maybe you're busy. Maybe you got a full-time job, but so does everybody else. Stop complaining. I have itemized grocery receipts from the last two and a half years, and I wanted to do a little price comparison. So this is comparing winter 2021 to spring of 2023. So as you can see, Cheerios went up a full dollar. This four pack of Greek yogurt I buy also went up a full dollar. I'll calculate and put an average of the price increase percent at the end. 27% increase on strawberries. This granola hopped from $3.59 to $4.79. The lower price items are where they really sneak it in because this is a 67% increase. Yikes, here's another major jump for an originally low cost item. Yet again, another increase of over a dollar. Almost double. So the average for all of those was an increase of 42% in the last two years. So this is honestly so terrifying, especially as an entry. Yeah, it's terrifying that you can't fucking comprehend yourself that you're overpaying for these things already because you're using a third party system that delivers it to you that automatically charges you extra money on every item so they can make profit. This is like you could save so much money by not using ship level employee making a lower salary compared to an average adult um between the food increases and the rent increases and being a single person it actually terrifies me i agree with that but i hope this is validating to some of you that if you feel like you're doing a bad job budgeting or wondering why you're spending a hundred dollars every yeah, you're horrible this is such a woman problem right now like so many women are complaining and making these there's some men not very many but mostly women complaining about these groceries and how everything is because they've never dealt with adversity before. <laughs> Every time you leave the house, it's not because you're doing a bad job. It's because the media is lying about the increases that we're seeing. And they're much higher than they're saying they are. Oh, I don't remember my subscription costing this much. Oh, we're increasing prices. I don't remember groceries being this expensive. We're increasing prices. Oh, it's a letter. Wait, what's happening to my rent? I'm increasing prices. So the cost of everything is increasing. Does that mean my pay increases? Absolutely not. So I live in Ontario and I need someone to tell me 
the pros and cons of living in America. Because at this point, Canada just ain't it. It's just like not it anymore. Like the the cost of living. Most of the West, girl. It's not just Canada. The U.S. isn't too much better. Inflation is super ridiculous. Everything is costly. Rent is costly. Jobs are shitty. It's all over. It's just, it's too much. The wages are staying the same. I can't afford to move out. I'm 24 and I'm embarrassed that I can't move out. I can't leave my toxic household. So what am I supposed to do? Where where am I supposed to go? What are the pros and cons of living in America? And everyone's like, oh, Canada's so great, this and that. It's not anymore. Free health care. You know how long it takes to see a mental health professional in Canada? A year. Dermatologist, a year. I might as well pay for private health care. The wait list is so long. Like, you don't even get the adequate help that you need. Nope. So where do we go at this point? Where Where are we supposed to live? Where can I live in a place where I'm able to enjoy my life as well? Because I'm not enjoying... Nowhere. Stop bitching. I, I, where can I go and enjoy my life? You got to make that enjoyment yourself. You got to provide that for yourself. These places aren't going to provide it for you. Even I tell you guys to be passport bros and go to the East and go to these Asian countries. It's not a guarantee. You got to put in the fucking work and do the work to make it so you're happy there. The things that you need, the things that you want, the things you want to do, you got to get that going. You got to do that. These places aren't going to make you happy. Get the fuck out of here with this shit. Doing it here. I feel so utterly stuck. <clears throat> I don't know what to do anymore. You go to school, you get a degree, and you're still not guaranteed a job. Yeah. this is, All these women, a lot of these women, at least on these videos, drank the narrative. Drank the Kool-Aid. I gotta go to work. No. You actually had another option. You're 24. You're decent looking. You're still young. You can go find a good man. That How come that's never an option for these young girls? It's never an option anymore. Oh, maybe I should just, you know, be a better person. And, and and start thinking about what men want and just become what they want and then I'll be taken care of. Why is that not a thought process anymore? 60k a year? That used to be like a decent amount of money. Not anymore. So where do we go? What are the pros and cons of living in America? She's crazy. She's, she makes 60k a year and she lives at home and she's still struggling? What are you doing with your money? Because I need to get out of here. That was some expensive ass chow. Like, I live very minimal. So, like, I, like these, this inflation and things, it hasn't really hurt me too much just because I've always lived kind of minimal. So, when I see people using, you know, delivery services and, I don't know, talking about fast food and things like that, I can understand why they're, they're struggling. Please, like, subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. And I'll catch you guys next time. Ciao.